It's been a controversial issue brought up many times before, dress codes to get into local bars. And now someone went out to make their opinion on this issue very well known. Emily Noonan joins us now live on East Ave in Rochester to tell us what happened. Emily? Adam, these two bars on East Ave made headlines recently because of their dress code. It sparked a community debate about racism. Sometime overnight, that debate turned into vandalism. By this morning, this was all that was left of graffiti on the windows at Murphy's Law and Brass Bar and Lounge. Both businesses had taken steps to clean it up. Though the words are gone, dozens of people that we spoke to had already caught wind of what happened. Something as serious as Jim Crow on top of that, too. Right. I don't think that's an appropriate response because now you're giving, you're putting fuel to the fire. You're giving us even more of a bad name than we already have. The graffiti offered pointed messages. One saying, Jim Crow dress code here. Another saying, and white supremacy now. The vandalism comes amid a community debate about the dress codes at these businesses. Arlene Lopez and Matilda Awuso disagree with the vandalism, but say they can't completely argue with the message. Yeah. The girls could walk in with whatever <laughs> and anything, but they're like, guys, black males, they, they really are strict. They can't wear white tees, they can't wear chains. What else can they wear? Tims, hats, anything that's associated with black culture, they cannot wear. Other items on the not to wear list bandanas, do rags, hats, ripped jeans. Howard Woodham and Andre Giroux feel businesses have the right to enforce a dress code. I think it's a dress code. I don't think it's racist. I think they've had that dress code for years. Businesses have a right to deny service, and the people have a right to exercise, you know, whether or not they're going to go and visit those businesses as a result. Vandalism, I don't think, is the answer, but you know what I'd love to see is if that really bothers somebody, I'd love to see a group of people protesting. Because right now what I see is a long line of people out on Friday and Saturday night. According to RPD, no reports were made involving this incident. No, we did reach out to Murphy's Law. They have yet to comment. Adam. All right, Emily, thank you. The dress code policy for Murphy's Law was put into place nine years ago. We also reached out to Brass Bar and Lounge, but they weren't available to comment.